And uh, Amir Khan had come into the theatre that time and he did this thing where he spoke to the audience. And I was just, obviously because I loved Tare Zameen Par, and I was just filled with so much, uh, you know, so, so many things I wanted to ask him and this and that. But he spoke to the audience, I actually want to know what you guys mean and, I, and, and by that I don't mean that please praise the film or praise me, you can like say whatever you want about the film. But I haven't had an interview, because what actually matters is you guys. I mean, I'm, we are getting all the stars and we are getting all the love, but for me, what if you ask me what matters is you. So, if, okay, if you can get the mic to some people in the audience and just ask them what they think. You know what, we definitely do that. One final thing I want to ask you on behalf of everyone is, as them, you work in a hotel and you have to do a whole bunch of different things. On a slightly lighter note, what was the most annoying thing to do and what was the most enjoyable thing to do? <laughs> So cleaning, cleaning a toilet is not easy. I think that's it. Cleaning a toilet is really not easy because it's very uh, self-pride for what's... What do you mean? What do you mean? It's not fun. And the fun part? After you clean a toilet... Thank you, thank you. But after you clean a toilet, then you laundry is very fun. Listen, we we'll do what he just said. So I know I, know I can't reach all the way back. So I'm going to ask some of the fans who are up here. Uh, let's ask some of the users. Yeah, they watch, you guys are all in the theatre, you watch the movie. Who is Muskan? Where do, we, do we have Muskan? Okay, before we reach Muskan, let me ask... Uh, okay. Did you like the movie? This was something different, right? Varun Dhawan, you didn't see anything like that. Did you enjoy the movie? Do you like Varun Dhawan? Yes. Say something nice to him. Except for yes. <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie? What did you like what about it? No, ask me what you want. No, no, no. Please, your biggest fan. What did you like about Octo Bolo? I've only seen him throughout the movie. I've only come just to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're here to see you, Haro. Shout out! Thank you. Thank you. The You know, obviously the loss that Dan suffers is, is insane and, and I can't say it in words but you know when I actually, I'm saying it like it really happened because for me it really happened. I did not know what was going to happen to Shuri till three hours before. Oh, wow. okay. So you were not told about the end of the script? I knew it's going to go somewhere but uh, Sujita and Juhi didn't tell me exactly how it's going to happen and when it's And uh, so when I entered the room, uh, when I see Ativa, who's uh, Shuli's sister, I see her crying and I see uh, Shuli's mother crying. I still remember that it was so haunting. Because it was a single shot, I walk and I go in and I see her on the bed lying. So when I saw them crying, I forgot my own pain because what can be more, uh, what can be more hurtful than a, a mother losing a daughter? Yeah? I mean, I don't think so any mother gives birth to a child thinking that the child will go away before them. So that, I mean, any time I would see the mother and Shuri together, that, I mean, I would forget my own pain, I would forget my own, uh, my, what I am, whether I am a hero in the film or whatever, I just felt that I, I want to make this lady smile somehow, I want to make Sh Shuri smile somehow. And uh, Manita is so brilliant in the film, it's such a selfless performance, I mean, I give her so much credit for my performance. So I think, wo, I, was, I actually started thinking about the family and I, I started thinking about my family. I just felt like if tomorrow something like that happened and my mom I had to go through this. Nothing shall happen to you, brother. We all are with you. Oh, 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 oh. One final question: How was it feeling? Uh, how did it feel to work with you, Jit Sarkar? He's a phenomenal, phenomenal. I think there's nothing to say. He's one of the best filmmakers. One of the best filmmakers. And I think his craft speaks for himself. I mean, he's he's always trying to make different films, and October is just another gem from him. Yeah. By name October, I'm released in April. 